Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a video about BarkBox um, and also my dog will be in this video. You can't really see him because he's on the floor. Come here! Come here, Comey! You'll be able to see him when I start opening the box and showing you the stuff. He'll be all over it. But um, yeah, so let me just talk to you a little bit more about Coleman since you guys don't know any details about him really. Um, he will be, he's about nine months this month. Um, so he's still a baby. He's almost full grown, but not quite. Um, I got him in March of this year. My sister is going to school in Arkansas. She just left um, last weekend, which is why I didn't post a video because I was saying goodbye to her and everything. But um, she was on campus and she found a little dog under a bush and he was just a little puppy and she rescued him and he was skinny and scared and everything and he didn't have any tags and she tried to find it like if he had an owner and everything but she couldn't find out anything so she hid him in a dorm because it was a week before she was going to be home on spring break so she hid him for a week and then drove home with him and her friends helped take care of him and stuff when she was in school um, in the dorm and everything and then she brought him home to me because he is part pit bull and part basset hound and I love pit bulls and I've always wanted a pit bull so when she saw that he was a pit bull she was like oh you know this would be perfect for my sister and I wanted him when she sent me pictures of him so that's how I got him and you know I took him to the vet he's had all his shots he's been neutered um, so yeah he's all good now and he's at a good weight and he's happy and healthy so that's his little story and he's a very good boy his name is Coleman because that was the name of the street that she found him on um, so it's kind of a strange name but it has meaning behind it anyway so we'll talk about BarkBox now he's had BarkBox pretty much since I got him because he's very spoiled and um, you know he came from the street so I want to make sure that he's living the good life now so um, um, so yeah, I've had it for several months now. I'm really impressed with it so far. I'm not paid to talk about it. I've, I bought all the boxes myself. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything. I just think it's a really cool thing to do for your dog if you can afford it. It's about um, 20 bucks a month for the type of box that I get. I just get the standard box, which is the two toys, two treats, and then um, like a little chew stick of some sort. Um, cause you can get it with an extra toy, but he has so many toys already that I don't think he needs it. So I just get him the regular box. Um, he knows that this box is for him. Oh, he's showing off his new toy. This one is from, I went to Goodwill the other day. So the, the stuffed animals there are like 99 cents. So sometimes I'll get him one and bring it home for him. Cause he doesn't ever chew anything up. That's another thing about Coleman is he, um, he doesn't ruin any of his toys. He's actually very careful with them and doesn't destroy them for the most part. So that's the one I got him from Goodwill and he's playing with it right now. Um, but yeah, he knows that these boxes are for him when they come in the mail. He gets very excited. Like he was just chewing on my hand a second ago because he's like, open the box. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's a very good boy. So let's just go ahead and get started and open the bark box. Um, I should have brought some scissors over, but I'll just rip it open. Call me. Coleman, what's this? What is that? Coleman. See, now he's getting excited because he knows it's for him. What is that? So, this is what, when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It comes with little paper, paper wrappings. Cool. So, the treats are right on the top. And then, the toys are underneath. And here's the little special chew that came with it. So I'm just going to put it on the floor and I'll show you each item. So let's just start with the chew. This is called Dozer's Dental Chews. It's for medium and enlar large dogs because you get to select when you first start your bark box, you can select which size your dog is and he's a large dog. He weighs like at least 50 pounds. So yeah, it's really cute. It looks like a frog or a toad or something. It has little bumps on its back. I think it's supposed to be kind of like those whimsy chews, which are also really great. So I'm sure he'll love that. It's really cute. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, um, BarkBox always has a theme. Every month they do a new theme. And I think the theme for this month, 
Oh, it's called Secrets of the Rainforest. How cute is that? Aww. Very cute. I love that. Last month was... What was I don't remember what last, last month was. Um, where's your last month toy? I don't remember. Anyway. See, he's trying to get into everything now. Oh, let's see. Oh, what is this guy? Let's see. Um, does it say? What's he supposed to be? I think he's like a little monkey or sloth or something. Oh, you know in, um, what's that movie called? The Madagascar movie? That little monkey in it? I think that's what it is. Stop it. Um, I don't know what those are called, but he's got the big eyes and everything. I think that's what he is. Coleman, come here. He's like just out of frame. He won't move. Come here. Come here. There we go. Say hello. Say hello. He's a big boy. Look at that face. Oh, you're so cute, Coleman. He already wants to play. Okay, there you go. All right, next item. Let's do the treats. Actually, there's the treats. All right, here's the next toy. Oh, it's a bug. Oh, it's like a fish eating. I think it's supposed to be like the fish eats the bug, like that. I think. I think this is like a little fly or something. And then this is the fish eating it. That's really funny. I love it. So cute. He loves his bark box toys too because he has two big buckets full of toys that he's accumulated over these few months that I've had him. And he goes and he'll pick out his bark box toys. Like he won't he doesn't really play with his other toys like from Target or PetSmart. He plays with his BarkBox toys more than anything. It's like he knows, oh, these are like specially for me. They're nice, nicer quality. So it's really funny. It's like he's spoiled and he knows it, you know. And the treats this month are called Bark of the Wild. It's trout, trout and vegetable blend. Um, and most of the treats that they send are, he's like, play with me. I want to play. I want to play. Um, they're wheat-free, corn-free, corn and soy-free. So if your dog has any allergies or has a sensitive stomach, a lot of these treats are great for them. Um, you can even tell BarkBox when you sign up, like if your dog has any allergies, and they'll make sure not to send you anything with that in it. Um, and then they have, oh, this one also is called Bark of the Wild. And this one has turkey and alligator blend. Whoa, that's pretty cool. And this one is also wheat-free, corn-free, corn and soy-free. Um, so another cool thing that Coleman will do is he'll let me know what treat is his favorite because I'll let him try each flavor of treat. And then I'll put one treat in each hand and he'll put a paw on the one that he wants the most, which is really cute, which I'll see if I can show you in a second. Um, let me see if he'll do it. If I open the treats, he'll go crazy. Come here, Coleman. Come here. I wish I could point it down a little more. Come here. Sit. So we'll see if he likes. This is the um, turkey and alligator flavor. What do you think? What do you think of that? And then let me try the other flavor with him. And then we'll see if he'll tell me which one he likes better. So that one, this one is the trout and vegetable blend. Interesting. So I'm going to put the trout and um, vegetable blend in the hand with the, race, the bracelet, and this one, the one, and then the alligator one here. So he's had both now, so I'm going to see which one he wants, and he will tell me. See? See his paw on my hand? Good boy. So he likes the alligator flavor better. I'm not surprised. It smells pretty good, actually. It kind of just smells like teriyaki, like like beef jerky or something. That one doesn't smell as good. The turkey alligator is a little funky. So yeah. Let me try it again. Let's see if he does it a second time. So again, turkey um, alligator and this is the trout and vegetable. Oh, he definitely likes this one better. He definitely likes the alligator better than the trout and vegetable, which I don't blame him. The trout and vegetable sounds just like a little bit too healthy to me. All right, cool. <clears throat> so 
So, I think he's enjoyed this bark box. And yeah, so if you guys are interested, I don't have a code or anything, but there are a lot of codes floating around out there. So if you want to get your dog a bark box, you can always just Google it and you might be able to find a discount code. Um, but I think it's really fun. For 20 bucks a month, you get two bags of treats, a chew, and then the two toys, which I think is a great price for all that. And um, I think it really makes your dog happy. They know they have a little present coming every month and they get excited and it's really fun to watch them you know enjoy their new stuff and a lot of times Coleman will try to open the box by himself which is really really cute so so yeah if you guys are interested I would definitely consider you know if you have dogs you can always just you know do something nice for them and make them feel special and loved and everything um, so I hope you enjoyed this video um, next month I'll you know every month when I get the box I can do a little review for you guys if you're interested if you want to see more of Coleman just let me know but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm still trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing, and I know I've got a lot to learn and do better with, and I still need to get a better camera and a mic and all that stuff, but I'm just starting out, and I'm just having fun with it. It's just for fun. I know I'm not like a real YouTuber or anything. I'm just having fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.